still want more lug contact in this track here. Now, as you can see from the 3D print here, we have significantly beefed up the lug by a lot. The, uh, this is a beefy, beefy lug now. And uh, the contact area here inside of this, uh, this track, this cam groove here on the bolt carrier is significantly greater. So we're hoping that that's going to help us with a lot of our potential smearing issues and such. But another thing that you might notice, if you push it back directly flat, it doesn't rotate. This is because of one of the bigger changes that we've made between the V2 and the V3, which is why we think it's gonna work a lot better, one of the many, many reasons. We've actually incorporated helical lockup, which the actual, the, the original AK did as well. So we're hoping all of that is going to help us with just feeding function, just the entire guts of the gun is really just the bolt carrier, the bolt, and the front trunnion. That, that's where your lockup occurs. That is where you're gonna have the most problems typically. And uh, just, I, I really hope that this is what kind of irons out pretty much everything. So what's left? Well, designing the V3 as it sits is like pretty much entirely finished. Now it's time to start making shit. Are you guys enjoying this video? Well, if so, we have a brand new podcast only channel. So head on over there and check out our epic full episodes. Please like, subscribe, and enable notifications so you don't miss a single one. Today we have a very special AK-50 update because today we are going on a field trip. You see, we've actually partnered with Titans of CNC. So we're going up to see their shop around the Dallas area. That's beautiful. So here we have our finished bolt carrier. Little lightning cuts look fantastic right off the bat. Got our claws here hanging out the edges. These are neat. Got our through hole there for our bolt stem. Everything looks super clean. So this piece fits nice and snug here. There you go, like a glove. So when this is all the way in, this is actually flush. You almost can't even feel it to the touch where the seam is. That's really nice. Now for our bolt, as you see here, this giant cam lug, we've learned from 
fire experience that you definitely want to beef up your cam lug uh, for the maximum amount of you know surface area and, and strength rigidity everything for your cam groove on the 50 it's a lot of weight this is a heavy bolt so here we have this slide this in and it successfully cams which means this is a very functional cam groove so this is how we're going to headspace the gun just threading the barrel in until it is nice and tight on the bolt which also again has the helical lockup just like an AK. So the bolt is really screwing itself into battery. So if you see these are not flat. It's a helix and that is matched on the inside here on the inside uh, the back side of these lugs inside the front trunnion. So when we put this in it will rotate into battery. And you can see the bolt getting sucked in. Now the real test too. This dust cover locking piece. It's a little bit of a taper here. It's nice and loose in the beginning, so it's easy to find, easy to kind of return to zero here. And that is snug. Absolutely zero play. Look at that. It's really, really cool to just see the entire facility these guys have set up here, and even cooler to see what they were able to do with AK-50 parts that we are now gonna take back to the shop and try to turn into a functional gun. So hopefully, next AK-50 update should be really exciting. Now, thanks to a lot of man hours in the shop and of course our partnership with Titans of CNC, amongst other things, we pretty much have all of the parts. So another part you guys haven't seen before is the handguard. And let me tell you, this is a cautionary tale of what happens when you don't work with Titans of CNC. So this is potentially usable. You wonder why AK-50 takes so long sometimes? Like this. I've gotten lucky. There are plenty of chads like Titans of CNC that have been just absolutely knocking it out of the park with just grade A parts. The whole crew over there are just absolute masters of their craft and it shows through in the parts that they've delivered. They've genuinely been one of the best partners we could have asked for as far as uh, help on the AK-50 project and as a bonus they're also based out of Texas so you know extra kudos.